We just ported Explorer of the Seas for a seven night cruise. This is our first Mediterranean cruise and we're leaving out of Ravenna, Italy. Here's how we started our boarding day. Good morning, we're in Ravenna, Italy, which is where our cruise starts from. Yeah, we got here last night after about 20 hours of travel. We got some dinner and gelato here last night. But now it's time for our very Italian breakfast. Let's see what we got here. I got a Nutella croissant. Ooh. It looks so good. And then Brian got like a chocolate. I don't even know what it's called. It's not a croissant, but <laughs> it's got chocolate it's in it. It's a pastry filled with chocolate, so. So it's gotta be good. Yeah. And then what'd you get here? It was a confusing ordering process. It's so hard. I think they do. They call their coffee different things. I had to use my catchphrase, non parlo italiano. And then I ordered a latte and then she said, I think you mean cafe latte and I went, Okay. It was so so I don't know. I th I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be really strong. So I don't know. Let's see. No, this is surprisingly good. Actually. That's awesome. No, I think Italy is known for being very good with There's their... no Starbucks around here. Of course not. Uh, if there was, we would be at one. We stopped at this little convenience store on our way to the hotel just to check out all the uh, different things they have here in Italy. It's so fun. I'm on a mission because my coworkers are throwing like a um, potluck the day I get back. And I was like, I can't cook anything, but I'll try to bring something back from Italy. And like, look at that. Who wouldn't love an Italian croissant? Yeah. I just can't believe that they have a bunch of different kinder cakes. Oh. It's not just a chocolate, it's like a cake. Wait a second, I thought this was illegal. Frozen pizza? Ah. Oh. I thought that was illegal in this country. That one looks good. Can we take that back home? Yeah. <laughs> I think you need something that's like more packable. I agree. Like I'm looking at those Nutella biscuits, but that seems like something you could get at home. What? No, I've never seen any of these Nutella things Should before. Should I get that? I think if you bring this back, they'll be They'll impressed. think that's cool. Yeah. So I think Nutella is actually like an Italian thing that it started in Italy. So this is actually a good souvenir to get. Okay, good. So we stayed at the NH Ravenna Hotel. I really like it. I think it's really nice. I would totally stay here again, uh, really close to the train, only like a four minute walk away. So yeah, this place is really good. Perfect. Okay, we checked out of our hotel. It's not easy, but we're rolling our luggage. Uh, it's only like a two or three minute walk to the train station. What's crazy about getting on a cruise in Ravenna, we read online the best way to get to the ship is to actually go to the train station and look for somebody in a Royal Caribbean shirt or with a Royal Caribbean sign. Um, apparently there's not many taxis here. It sounds like we're doing an amazing race clue, like looking for someone in a crowded train station. But apparently if we find this person, there's a shuttle that will take us from the train station to right to the ship and they just charge our uh, room on the ship, $10. Okay, here's the train station. Unfortunately, the McDonald's is closed. Let's see if we can find this Royal Caribbean employee. <laughs> okay, I found the, the hidden royal person. I found him first. Really? Well, I found one down these stairs right oh, there. Oh, really? I found one right there. She said, just go down there, go down these stairs, and then you'll see the bus station, and it leaves every 20 minutes. Amazing. Okay, right, so if you're going on a cruise from Ravenna, Go to the train station, go down these stairs. There is something that looks like an elevator, but do you just want to carry them down? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is our workout. I'll take this one and you'll take these three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the other end of the tunnel, we found the buses and now we're about to get on. Okay, there she is. We're getting off the bus right here. What a great spot to get off the bus. What a view. Amazing. She's gorgeous. So the last time that we had to walk onto a ship like this yeah. was our very first cruise together, Adventure of the Seas in Nassau, Bahamas. And what's funny is this is the same uh, class of ship. It is, yeah. It's kind of cool how we're boarding the ship here on the ground level almost. The pier level, I guess. Now that we're on board, I don't really feel like I'm in Italy anymore. I feel like I'm home. It smells like a Royal Caribbean ship and it smells so good. Like, and then it feels like you're in Florida, right? Yeah, it kind of does. But yeah, this is our first time on Explorer of the Seas. It looks nice. This is a cool art piece right here. We've been on Adventure of the Seas and we've yeah. been on Mariner of the Seas, which are the yes. same class as this. Yeah. So we know the lay of the land already, basically. Yeah, but this is a new one for us. This does look really cool. Yeah. Oh, the smell just brings me back. It feels so It good. feels so nice to be back on board. 
Wow, the bear is in a motorcycle yeah. instead of a car. And it's like caged off, so we can't get to it. I know. I can't believe that there's no car and it's just a motorcycle. So this is the Cafe Promenade and there's ice cream just right here. I don't know if we've seen this before, like ice cream just right on the promenade like no. this. No. But it's, I think it's the Ben and Jerry's. This is the inside of Cafe Promenade. It looks different than the other ones. It looks nice. nice. It looks like they just renovated it, which they yeah. might have. I think this ship recently went into dry dock it and did. got a couple things done yeah. to it. It had a few upgrades. Yeah. First stop, we got to check out the pool deck. Look at this. This is the adult section, the solarium. The pool looks nice, the hot tub. The hot tubs are huge over there. We do have our bathing suits in our bag. Today will pretty much be the only day we can use them unless we do it after a port because every single day on this cruise is at a port. Even though we're in Italy, we got a Caribbean band going on because this is Royal Caribbean. And here's the pool deck area. One, two, three, four hot tubs. There's a lot of hot tubs. And they look big too. They do. Honestly, this pool looks really nice with like the two connections. I like the um, the bit where the water can go over the Yeah, top. this looks nice. It looks really nice. So like what Carrie was saying before, uh, this is a seven night cruise and we have a port every single day. Uh, we've never been on a cruise like this because we do not have any sea days at all. We have no breaks. We have, there's no breaks. This cruise is starting in Ravenna and uh, this cruise actually ends in Rome. So it's a, it's a one-way cruise. Yes. So the ports that we're going to are Split Croatia, Zadar Croatia, Dubrovnik Croatia, Corfu Greece, Sicily Italy, Naples Italy, and ending in Rome, Italy. We made our way to the back of the ship. They got the flow rider here off right now. I think they're about to turn it on. Dang, I really wanted to do it no, right. You, no, you didn't. And then we have the water slides over there, which I think those slides are new from when this ship was in dry dock recently. And then here's the mini golf, which looks pretty good. It does look really good. Okay, and then behind the mini golf, we have the sports area with the basketball and the rock wall down there. I think they're playing soccer right now because we're in Europe, okay? Oh, okay. Sorry, football. But it looks like a pickleball uh, net. Right it now. does. So Explorer of the Seas is right next to the Marella Explorer 2. What does this ship look like to you? By the way, it's much uh, lower down than we are. What, what would you say this looks like? Jewel of the Seas? No. I don't know what the right answer is. But I know that that person has a hot tub in their room and I'm jealous. <laughs> A hint is um, the color of the hull here, okay, and the shape of the funnel. The shape of the funnel gives me Disney vibes. No. Can you just say what you're trying to say? Because I don't know. This ship used to be the Celebrity Sentry. Oh, so like the X. Oh, I yes, see it now. Yes, if you look I at the it, funnel, see, you can I almost see, see like where the X would be. This used to be a celebrity ship, but now it's not. It's the wow. Morella Explorer 2. But it's funny that it's Morella Explorer 2 right next to the Explorer of the Seas. I know, and I do like their logo. I like that they uh, have like a winking half smiley face. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the beach back there beyond the ship. I didn't even know that beach was over there. A bunch of people in our cruises Facebook group were saying that they were staying at the port. And when we drove in, I was like, where? But now that I see the beach, I get it. Okay, it's time for the traditional first meal at Windjammer. You know we're home when we're at Windjammer. So we got our lunch, very fancy food. I've never seen them actually have a royal burger like they did. It's got it's like mayo, cold. ketchup, and bacon. And yeah. then I added pickles and onions. So it's basically like a very fancy meal. And I got my kid's meal because I guess I'm five years old. There was just a lot of crowds over by the grown-up food and there yeah. weren't a lot of crowds by the kid food, so we're kids today. I just didn't love the selection today. It's There's okay. always different things. Yeah, the there were a lot of options though, so I just think, you know, in the future it'll be okay. I just wanted something quick too. Yep. But we got the key on this cruise. Basically the only reason we got it was because it was like two dollars more than the internet. This comes with the internet package. I know it's like, okay, it's like two dollars more than the internet package. Might as well get it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we're ever gonna use any other benefit besides the internet and the bag drop off. We just dropped off our bag in the dining room, one of our bags, so that it'll be in our room in like 
you know, 30 minutes or whatever. It helped us skip some lines this morning. It did. That was yeah. really helpful. Honestly, I would buy it just for that. We did skip a line while boarding. And when we booked this, I had thought maybe some of our ports would be tender ports. I thought that too. And yeah, the key gets really priority know. tendering, so I feel like that's a, a good benefit. But we don't we don't have to tender, so we're not going to use that. But just in case, we're checking out the casino, and the floor is so cool. It's like we're standing on top of gold and, then and treasure. You come over here. There's a roulette table. Yeah, if you look, it's like all this treasure is on a roulette table. And like, here's the roulette wheel. And I think that's like a prediction of the future for us that oh. we're gonna win a ton on the roulette table. Yeah. <laughs> and also there's a scorpion. So don't get too greedy. That's what that's there for. Mm, I get it. So it's a $5 minimum. The casino does use US dollars. I think Royal Caribbean always uses dollars yeah. for the casino, but this is $5 minimum per bet, which normally we've seen 10, sometimes 25 on some ships. So I guess it just depends on the, the ship you're on. I see our favorite slot machine. It's hard to usually film these, but this one's what we usually play. There's like different variations of these games. Yeah, people say how to get points. Uh, I think the slot machine is the best way to get points. Oh, you can get ducks. Oh my God. I love that. That is that. so funny. And look at him, he's like a monkey. I will do anything I can to get that duck. Look I will spend this. hundreds of dollars. I love There's that. There's so many of them. I like also that instead of dollar bills, they give you chips. It's a chip. That is so cool that they put the ducks there. Yeah. Floating on the, the quarters. <laughs> this one's close, we can get him. Yeah. <laughs> but so this one has zero and double zero. So this is an American table. The one over there only had one zero, oh. which means it's a European table and the odds are actually better on the European table because there's only one zero. Interesting. Yeah. So our preference should be the European, the European. table. Is it, it's only better if you play greens, right? Or is it better for everything? It's better for everything. Because the, there's less numbers Because if you bet on like the... on black or red, then you have better odds that it's not gonna land on green. See, here's this table. There's only one zero, one green. So better player odds. Interesting. Yeah. So we talked about the smell of the schooner bar before because it smells amazing. John commented and said the smell of the schooner bar is from the treatment on the ropes and that there's some sort of tar treatment on the ropes and that's where the smell comes from. So let's see if we can smell this actually. Oh my god, I is, feel is like I got weird? it like g coming closer to the ropes. I'm gonna be weird and more. smell the rope. Smell it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I smell it. Should we smell those ropes? No. Should or smell should I smell the, the tar one, the ones that are darker? Oh, let's do that. Do you smell I it? I smell it on the rope. Let's go to those ones. Okay. How, how weird are we being right now? Very, but that's okay. <sighs> he's, he's right. It, it comes from the ropes. It's a very good smell. Do you smell it? Wow. It smells good. It does smell good. And he's so right. Like, that's exactly what I'm smelling. Wow. Are we weird for liking the smell of tar? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so right next to the schooner bar is Giovanni's table. Which I'm used this to is, Izumi being there, so yeah. it's kind of strange to see Giovanni's table. It's, it's interesting to see like a different restaurant in the same spot. And here's Giovanni's table, here it is. But how, Imagine eating right here. How funny is it that we're in Italy and it's I like, know. you can't eat this Italian food. I know. I wonder if it's better because we're starting our cruise from Italy. Do they have better ingredients? Better pizza, <laughs> Papa John's. Okay, our rooms are ready now. We actually just found our bags in the hallway, so that's really nice. It's amazing, I'm so happy about that. So we are room, we're on deck nine, we're in room 9318. We booked this cruise a year and a half ago, so we got an amazing deal on a junior suite. Yes. So this is a junior suite, so let's check it out. Denied. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> your bag, your other bag's already yeah, in here. The bag from the key is here. It looks nice, like the, the chairs have definitely been changed out. You know what, the, the carpet looks nice too. And the curtains look nice. They swapped out some furniture and stuff while oh. they did the dry dock. Yeah, the lights still do that twinkle, I heard Oh, it. we love it. And I like the extended desk because then I can have a vanity and you can have like a workspace. This this actual this this desk area is actually really big. They left all the cabinets open. I wonder if they did that. Maybe to clean it out? They were just out? checking everything, I don't know. Oh, gigantic walk-in closet. This is the best. For a 7-9 oh cruise, it's so Wait, you nice. should stand in it to get a scale because 
This is kind of one of the main reasons to get a junior suite. I could sleep in this thing. So we have kind of a stupid amount of luggage. And one of the main reasons we wanted this junior suite was because of this huge closet. Look at this, they're all here and I can still stand here. Yeah. But like we have a lot of luggage because this is, you know, like we're gone for like 12 nights on this trip. Lots of different weather that we could have, like rain gear. The temperature like, for this cruise is that in between yeah, weather it's where in, it's yeah. like, if it's shady and raining, it's, it's freezing. It, and then if it's sunny, but then 75, like that's short. It's hot. Yeah, so you have so, to pack for everything. Yeah. Let's do a bed test. I wonder if they swapped out the mattress. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I hope okay. they did. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's no Disney ship. This is... Okay, it's no Disney ship, but this is actually a lot better than normal. Do you I'm think not, so? You know what, normally it's feel, like sleeping on the floor. <laughs> I can feel a good. mattress pad on on. It does feel like it. You can literally like it's like it's like one of those um air foam. You think? Yes, I can feel it. Can feel like the egg carton thing? Yeah, but without the egg carton, it's just the foam. Okay. I I this is honestly really really good compared to what royal normally is i think they did replace the mattress i think they did this is this is a, a huge upgrade carrie is underselling it <laughs> i think what it is is that it's kind of like a it's i think it's a new mattress but i think it's a stiff mattress and i like a plushy soft mattress I, it is soft though it's fine. what does it say what does it say it says your dream setup Oh my God, wait, it's telling us about getting the, the bedding. Like we can purchase the bedding. Really? Yeah. They will have the crown and anchor on it? I don't know. Because if it has this on it. We're I, getting it. I need it because <laughs> I need this at home. <laughs> okay, let's go okay. to the real reason why we book this place. No, the real reason is the closet and the balcony. But the bathroom's nice too. I like having the tub. Yeah. This is like a nice gigantic shower and we have the the upgraded soap and shampoo instead of the five in one <laughs> mystery thing yeah no this is this, nice. this is good i th think this is um exactly what we're used to from adventure for sure and look there's like little storage things in here but this is definitely a big upgrade and if you've never been on a cruise before this is actually a big bathroom compared to yes the, is this a, is a junior norm. suite bathroom yeah. balcony Wait, let's see what we got here. We have a special delivery. Enjoy oh. your cruise. Well, it's, it's only for you. Haha. Uh -huh. I can I'm the only one that can eat that. But oh, it's wow. fruit, so Look I don't at want it. Cheese though. Like that's so Italy. <laughs> it's so funny how every time we go on a cruise, the water is like a different type of thing. No cheese on this one, so this one must be for me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like sometimes it's Evian, sometimes it's in a can. You know what I like? I'm so glad that it's in a bottle. So you could, yeah, put the Because I, I want to be able to put it in my bag on excursions. I feel like we should have gotten more of these. We've got a lot of fruit. Yeah, we did. Oh my God. Three plates of fruit. Let's see. How do we got Just some other stuff we have? This is very interesting. Cruise compass gone green. Nobody likes that. We have our um, excursion tickets. Um, Oh, the Crown Lounge is the new name of the Diamond Lounge. Um, because if there's a lot of Diamond members on your cruise, sometimes they switch the now called Crown Lounge into a Diamond Plus and up. Because sometimes there's just too many Diamond members for that lounge. So they changed the name. Let's see if we have a hair dryer. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Okay, so that's the standard hair dryer. It's nice that you don't have to plug it in and waste oh, a plug. I do like that. Okay, let's check out the balcony. Okay, what about all this stuff? <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff. We'll look at that later. Okay. Oh, we have the coffee maker, which we will probably not use, but yeah. people seem to be interested in that. They do. But they do have tea. Even the curtains look um, nicer. I think that's that's what really gave it away for it, me. It, like, and this couch is it's kind of like a quantum class vibe, you know what I mean? Uh, yes. It is kind of weird how all the cabinets are open. Maybe there's a ghost haunting us. I think so. Okay. I think I could do a cartwheel out here. Yeah. This is nice. Well, it is, it is completely, yeah, it is completely enclosed on that side and on this side here. There is no door or a gap in between 
our the, our neighbors here. Wow. And we're definitely on the bump out. Yeah, we are on the bump out. We chose this room because it's directly in the bump out. We don't have lounge chairs, which I'm a little disappointed in. But I want to see how far back this goes. Okay, it can go all the way back. <laughs> but that wouldn't be comfortable. Well, you need like an ottoman. Maybe if you put them both together. Yeah, so this is really the maximum recline. But we've got a nice table, which is good if we ever want like room service breakfast. If I put my feet up here and break the glass. That's good. I think this is this is still good. Yeah. There could definitely be a lounge chair in here. Yeah. I feel like if we really wanted to, we could ask, but I don't- That's like not our style. style. No, that's not our style. My mom has definitely asked before. I was about to say, if we were your mom, we would ask. I, she's totally done that and they've done it. They've brought the lounge chair. If it fits, they bring it. If it fits, I, it ships. I don't want to be ships. Like a ship. I get it. I just don't want to be annoying, so. No. Not that she was being annoying. No, of course not. <laughs> hey, I like your jacket. Oh, thank you. I got it at the fake Italy at Epcot. I love that. Can I see the back? Can you do a little twirl? Ooh, look at that. Now everyone knows I'm a tourist. I know. While we were walking through uh, Ravenna, is that it? Yes, you got it. I never know if it's Ravina or Ravina. Well, for a very large portion of this trip, we've been calling well, it Ravina. The whole time we've been planning it, we're been like, Ravina, and then we got to the train station and they're like, Ravenna, and we're like, oh shoot. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen a lot. Uh, that's gonna happen with everything. There's a place we're going in Sicily, Italy, and it's called like, Messina? It's Messina, that's the correct way. Okay. Yeah. But I'm afraid- But we were calling it Mess- Mes Messanina. Messanina. <laughs> I think that's on us. We didn't even. I don't even see yeah. an, a, a, an additional vowel. Yeah. So we're gonna unpack because this is a seven night cruise. So I'm unpacking everything I have, and we have the space. We have so much space. I'm so excited. But here's a cool little tip I read online: is we're gonna take our passports, right? There's a big debate online. Do you, when you go to into port, do you bring your passport with you? or do you leave it in your room? It's a huge, so, huge debate, especially huge. on European cruises yes. like this. Um, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our passports, I'm gonna put them in the safe here and leave them in here for the entire cruise. Now, this is the best strategy. I think I read this, I forget where I read it online, but this is the best strategy because let's say you miss the ship. The ship is leaving, you're not on it. Leaving, and so you need your passport if you wanna fly home. Um, and you miss the ship. The procedure is, on Royal Caribbean and probably every other cruise line, from what I understand, the procedure is, if you miss the ship, they come into your room and they go to your safe to get your passports and then they bring it to the pier. So you go to the pier, even though the ship is gone, you go to the pier, they have your passports, they're waiting for you. Royal Caribbean expects you to put your passport in the safe yes. and they will bring it to the pier for you to pick up and I, I heard that they will look around a little bit for the passports, but I think what they really, they go straight for the safe. They have a master key to unlock it and they get your passports from there. So, so there's no so, need. So you're supposed to put them in there because that's where they're gonna look for the passports. You do not have to carry them with you. So yeah, and you don't wanna carry it with you because what if you lose it? What if it gets stolen? Yep. You, you leave your bag somewhere and someone takes your bag or you lose your bag, I don't know. So we're gonna use this strategy. Apparently this is the best one, so. It sounds good to me. Yeah, I dig it. Okay, so we're gonna spend some time now completely unpacking, and this is my favorite cruise tip on, especially a seven night cruise, is this little thing. We've talked about this before, but this is the expandable hamper. Um, Cause you're gonna go through a lot of clothes on the, especially the cruise like this. And you wanna have a we, place to put the We door. have two of these, one for each of us and we're gonna put them in the closet. This is so perfect. Not that we're really neat people, but it helps you <laughs> to keep your room neat and tidy because yeah. all your, your dirty stuff goes in there. Like for example, I already have all this dirty clothes from our previous- Pre-cruise travel. Our pre-cruise travel. I already have this whole thing of dirty clothes and we're just gonna dump this in here. Perfect. Okay, we finished unpacking um and honestly it looks pretty good in here it looks really good it's very hopefully, clean hopefully we can uh, keep it this way uh we met our stateroom attendant he is awesome he seems amazing he seems like he might be one of our best ever the closet looks insane it here. is jam-packed it look at all 
of these clothes. We honestly need but a shelving system like that for our house. Oh, I know. We really do. <laughs> it looks crazy in here. And we also have um, like stuff in here and the drawers and everything. You know, a lot of times we go on a cruise and the ship is kind of the destination. Right. But for this cruise, this is really all of our ports are the destination. And the ship is just a method of transportation in our hotel. But what's amazing is we're going to three, including Ravenna, three different countries, eight different cities, and we unpacked once. Like this is our hotel. Other people backpack around Europe and they have to unpack at all these different places. We get to stay here. We get to unpack once and we go to three different countries, eight different cities. It's, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna go to a city, spend all the, all day there, go to bed here, wake up in a new city. It, it's gonna be amazing. It's just like home base. Yeah. It's perfect. This is why people need to cruise. Yeah. Here's where we are. We're near Venice. It's a two hour drive away, but we're in Ravenna. Um, and we're basically this cruise is going around the Italian peninsula here. So we're starting uh, here and ending in Rome. So first we're going to Split, then Zadar, then Dubrovnik. These are all in Croatia. Then we go to Corfu, which is not on the map Let's right wait now. Let's for it. Perfect. So this is what planet we're on. It's, it's <laughs> called Earth. They call it Venice, but it's Ravenna because Venice is kind of far away. It's kind of the same like way they, that they call Port Canaveral Orlando. Orlando, yeah, but it's like an hour away. Yeah. They used to do a lot of cruises out of Venice, but um, they made some city laws and stuff that right now they're not available to cruise there, but I don't know. Oh, this really shows, see, this is Ravenna. This is where we are. That's where Venice actually is. So you can see it's kind of far away. Yeah, we just like, we're going around the Italian peninsula. It's pretty cool. It's like a one, it's our first one-way cruise. I love that it's a one-way cruise because it yeah. helps us see more of all these places. Like, I think otherwise we wouldn't have been able to have no sea days. Yep. I mean, I guess it's still possible. I guess, yeah. But when we end our cruise in Rome, like we're doing a Royal Caribbean excursion and then we just fly home from Rome, so. It'll be a lot easier, be a lot than, easier than it was to get here. Yeah. Okay, I was just sitting over here and I, I was so curious about our mattress. <laughs> and so I lifted this up. Aha! Like, Here's this really nice That's mattress That's not pad. normal. That's not normal. This there. is not normal. But I'm not so sure that the mattress itself is new. No, that's... Look, it, everyone knows that this that's not a normal <laughs> Royal Caribbean mattress. <laughs> this is a normal... A normal Royal Caribbean mattress. <laughs> this is really nice. But look how nice that is. Yeah. Like that is like a brand new mattress in and of itself. Like that's like the top of those, of like brand new plush mattresses. Like you know what I'm talking about? Like yeah, they yeah. have this like pillow, pillow top. top. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely an upgrade. That looks so nice. I yeah. can't wait to sleep on that. Yeah. So a lot of people have noticed in our videos that we always bring a nice soft blanket. And we finally have our own Views and Cues blanket that we made and are selling. But this isn't just any ordinary blanket. <laughs> Let me show you what this blanket can do. With this blanket, it has instructions to make your own Gus, your own towel animal. Because sometimes when you're at home, you don't get a towel animal. With this blanket, you can turn it into one. Nice and easy. Isn't that amazing? Yes. You just follow the instructions and you make your own crab, towel animal, or blanket animal. Um, step one, you fold in the sides into the center. By the way, every single step, the, the line is where the inside of the crease is, okay? That's important to know. So you do this. It's important to do the like first couple steps like as perfect as you can because like it's like everything like, you know, it's a snowball effect. It's a snowball effect. Everything goes off your initial fold. So if your first folds are good. Or if they stink, <laughs> then your crab's going to stink. Yes, yeah, so you got to Yeah, the first ones are important. So that's why I'm spending a lot of time on this. So step number two, we're folding in again and again. This is the blue line is on the crease. For this fold, for step number two, we're, we're leaving the end out like this. So that's why the crease goes like that, you know. I like how each time you do it, the next number is revealed. Yeah. Next step is yeah, so, revealed. Yeah, it, we made it so that, um, well, let me just do number three. So it says like step number three now, because we, we just revealed step number three. We start rolling it in 
from here and we're rolling it in towards this line. And you'll see like now, like I'm like, once I did that, now I revealed step number four, you know? Yeah. Like that's like revealed. So we're making a crab, okay? And so step number four is making the crab legs. So we're kind of going to try to make like a crescent shape here. Yeah. So we're pulling out the legs and twisting and turning like his claws like go in. Yeah. Okay, step five. So we're folding on this diagonal and we're doing it on both ends. Once we do five, then we see number six is revealed. Six is one fold over on the crease. This is our last step, number seven. This is the last fold line as it says. And we have our crab with eyes. Wow. That's on the blanket. That's not a sticker that we put there or anything. It's printed on the blanket. And there's our crab. Look at him. So now you could have your own little crab friend or a blanket to keep you warm at night. Yeah. What's great is like it's soft. You know, it's a soft blanket that you could have on your bed. Whereas like the towel on your bed is kind of like. You know what I mean? It's not soft, like you're not gonna use the towel as a blanket. Like this is like a soft blanket you can keep on your bed or on your couch. And if you're not using the blanket as a blanket, you could make it into a little gus here. Have a little friend. Yeah, so we made this. It's on our website, viewsandcues.com. It's also on our Etsy page. And I think it's awesome. Is there anything else new on those websites? Oh, funny you should mention that. <laughs> Well, so we, bam! So we also have this. This is uh, our new shirt that Carrie designed, and she, I think she did an amazing job. And we had to make a shirt for Sorrento's, everybody's favorite pizza place on Royal Caribbean. What I love about this is that recently in Royal Caribbean news, there was like a huge debate over whether mm. Royal was going to make their pizza free or have a charge. Free of charge. Free of charge, Sorrento's pizza. Yep. So slices at sea, open late, find us a, on I the promenade. Like you are a model. And we came up to the the crown, the Viking crown, and we're doing a zoomie for dinner. And we've never seen a zoomie up in the top like this before. This is the coolest location ever yeah. for a zoomie, so of course we had to come here. Yes. So like this is like the very top, like this is the place that like overlooks the pool deck. I think typically this is where the suite lounge is on most Or like other... the diamond lounge. Yeah. Or yeah, it's I a think lounge. the suite lounge, nice. yeah. Or wait, not Diamond Crown Lounge or something. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Okay. This is the coolest Azumi location. We're the first ones here. We're rope dropping Azumi. <laughs> yeah, it's like 5.30. And so she was like, yeah, everybody's coming later, but we like to eat early. And I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. It's going to be the best meal of the cruise. Probably not. It might be. On, uh, board. on board. On board, yeah. yes. <laughs> and it's awesome. We have a great view. And we're sailing away uh, now, yeah. so it's perfect timing. It's amazing. I, I love the Izumi up here. Me this too. is the best location. Sure. They even have hot towels here. Do they always have that at Izumi? I, I don't think know. so. It feels very nice. Wow, I love this Izumi. It's very it's classy and cool. I just love the location. I think I'm calling it now. This is the best Izumi. I hope the food is also the best because I'm going to get the yaki udon. And that's one that one time has been the absolute yeah. best thing ever. And well, another time has been like not so great. It was added to the Hall of Fame and then removed. So, so this might be its redemption. Yeah. Also, I feel like, you know, we're in Italy. That's the land of pasta. And what is yaki udon but the pasta? of Asian food. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, smart it's a noodle. decision or not, because we're going to eat a lot of other noodles. <laughs> a noodle is a pasta. <laughs> exactly. A ton of people came out to watch us sail yeah, away. On the, on, yeah, a bunch of, uh, bunch of locals watching. That's awesome. And also everyone's watching from our ship. Meanwhile, we have the best seat in the house. Yeah, how did no one else think of this? <laughs> I know, no, literally nobody else thought of this. And it's going to be awesome because like, it's going to be um, sunset. That's what, actually why we originally did it, because I thought we were going to watch Sail Away first, then come uh -huh. here, and so we booked this because we wanted to see sunset. This is amazing. I love Azumi, especially in this location. I'm so excited. They brought some... Um, Edamame. Edamame. <laughs> you didn't know what it's called. No, I know what it's called. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always good, but... Yeah, somehow I like it here. I bought some at home one time, and I tried to make it, and it sucked. So, <laughs> I only but like it on board. Here it's good. Yeah. 
Okay, so our waiter asked us if we were comfortable with chopsticks, and we were like, we're, we're, we're no. like, no. <laughs> And so we figured he'd come back with a fork, but instead he came back and he basically gave us training wheels. Yes, training wheels. I got one too. And, and like it makes it so much easier to, whoops, <laughs> it's just that easy. I think it makes it very authentic that we actually get to eat with yeah. chopsticks. So I'm, I'm excited. I still that. might have to ask for a fork because I need to eat a lot of food quickly and I don't know if yeah. this is going to do it. I feel like the velocity that I can get food into my <laughs> mouth is much lower than with a fork, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, we got our first uh, dishes here. We have the, is it pork dumplings? Yeah, pork gyoza. We actually got two orders of that. Um, and this is the chicken carriage? Carriage. I don't really know how to say it, with but it's chicken nuggets. The, yeah, it is. It's a, a Japanese style chicken nugget with a really good looking sauce. Yeah. These um, look tasty. Yeah, the dumplings look really good. Okay, this is my first attempt at using yeah. chopsticks. Oh. Have we had the dumplings here before? I don't I don't know. I don't know if we have. But they were like on they were starred for being chef recommended. Is it good? They're really good. There's like ginger inside of it, I think. Huh. It tastes good. So we've, we've had this chicken before on another ship at, at Izumi, but this is so much better. It's this so is, crispy and fresh and hot. It's so good. It almost seems like a different recipe. I'm not sure if like the food is just made from a different place or something, but it is amazing. It is tasty. Like the dumpling is good, but like this is really, really good. Yeah, the sauce is yummy too. Oh, the sauce is so good. We got our our uh, second course, our large plates. I'm as so they call excited. It. Here's my yaki udon it with looks chicken. Amazing. It looks so good. Look, they've got like the the green onions, the sesame seeds. It looks delicious. I it can't wait. It looks so good. I got the crispy shrimp roll, fried shrimp and asparagus and some sauces, and then I got the chicken teriyaki bowl. A classic. Which this is a previously inducted. This is one of our favorite items. We love that one. Now this this yaki udon is the one that this is its redemption right here. It was here added. Because it was added, it was and then we had it again, and it was it was like not good. So this is now we're seeing. Is this it? This is good. Is it? You've had I, one bite, but okay, I'll keep I, eating. But I need to try a bite, and then you I'll, of course, and then I need to also determine should we add it back. <laughs> right now, I'm thinking yes. Okay. It's official. <laughs> it's back. It yeah, is I, rising from the dead. I tasted it. It is amazing. This is definitely um, un, unremoved, unrevoked. This is a <laughs> Hall of back. Fame worthy <laughs> item. It is back. Get this. Also, we've decided that of the entire Royal Caribbean fleet that yes. we have sailed on, this is the best Azumi. This Azumi wins an award for being yes. top Azumi. This is the best location, in my opinion. But also the food. The food is the best. It's it's great. I, I tried the the, the uh, noodle. The noodle. The noodle mm. is so good. It's delicious. It is amazing. And our, our appetizers were delicious. Yeah. And this view is delicious. Some, and <laughs> somehow. I think we just had a bad batch of that udon one time. I can't remember what ship we were on. I think it was on a lure. I don't know. I don't know. They took our photo um, and they, I guess they printed it out to show us and... Oh my gosh. Oh my God, there we are. This is kind of cute. My Izumi <laughs> moment. <laughs> is that what that says? That's so funny. But it's so cool that it, like, it comes with chopsticks. I guess there's two photos. This is cute. We have to see the second one. This is kind of cool actually. I didn't know this was a thing. No. Huh? I said, how much? <laughs> wow. I like the other one because this one looks like I'm like way taller than you. Okay, we're going to do our dinner time question now. This one is from Casey Gamer. They say, did you guys put your love of cruising in your dating profiles? Because that's how we met. Or was it a happy surprise that you learned about each other? If one of you said that you hated cruising, would that have been a deal breaker? Would there have been a second date? <laughs> <laughs> so the short answer to the question is no, we did not put this into our dating profiles. And 
before we met one another, cruising wasn't a huge part of our lives, or at least no. like both of us had cruised with our family before, but it wasn't something that we were doing like religiously like we are now. No, I mean, and you were like two years out of college, so it wasn't like you had really the opportunity to. Even. I didn't have the money, the the resources, as in like I didn't live in Florida until right when I met you. Yeah. And so cruising has become so much easier now that I live in Florida, and so I would definitely not say that it would be a deal breaker because it wasn't even really yeah. a part of my life. Now, that being said, I had a boyfriend before Brian. Wait, really? Yes. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was the dark, dark ages when I had this boyfriend before Brian. And I asked him to go on a cruise with me. I lived in Charleston, South Carolina, and there was one cruise ship that kept coming into Charleston and I wanted to go on it. And he said no. And then he asked all of his friends friends if they wanted to go on a cruise with him because he didn't want to go with me he wanted to go with his friends oh my god so that's a deal breaker <laughs> also i did have a boyfriend before that said he didn't like disney and as soon as he said that i was like i don't think this is gonna work out long term <laughs> so there are certain things that would be deal breakers but cruising yeah. wouldn't have been one of them at that time we've kind of made it our thing yeah but disney would have been exactly this was a good question it was. Um, but yeah, I agree with what Carrie said. I mean, I cruised a lot, but not like a crazy amount like we're doing now. Yeah. By the way, this is the best Izumi ever. Yes. It was so good. We just went into the app and reserved it again for, I think, is it day four, day five? Whenever know. we're going to Corfu, yeah. Greece, we're also eating at Izumi again. We just made another reservation because we need to come back on this cruise. We literally weren't even done with our entrees. We were like halfway through them. We were like, we're coming back. We just did it like on the app. Yeah. We got dessert. This is the chocolate lava cake. I don't think lava is going to flow. There's no lava. No, the volcano is dormant. <laughs> <laughs> but not here in but Italy, okay? The volcano oh. is very much alive. There's been recent earthquakes. We're very nervous about it. Yeah. But this? Am I actually worried about it? Yes. Is that stupid? Yes. But I am worried about um, a modern day Pompeii situation. <laughs> but that's not happening within this chocolate lava cake. Um, I got the same thing. I don't know how I'm going to eat this um, because I am so stuffed, but I got mine without the matcha. It's so good. Because I don't like the matcha, and I didn't know you could do no matcha, but I asked and he said, yeah, so. This is so tasty. Even with the matcha? I can't even taste the matcha. I, I don't know how you can't taste it. I just don't like matcha. I've been like missing out because I haven't been getting this because I, I, I got it once with the matcha and I didn't like it. But without the matcha, it's really, really good. It's so tasty. That's why I've, I've been so confused about why you don't like dessert here. I'm like, wait, what? There's a chocolate lava cake. This is actually really good. Don't get the matcha. Oh. Unless you actually like I literally it. can't taste the matcha on mine, so... I literally was like, I cannot eat the dessert. I'm too full. But it was amazing. That's... it's. I'm not kidding. That's the best Izumi in the fleet that we've experienced. It gets its and own award. I'm telling here's you. Here's the award. You're next. This, <laughs> we we asked the the photo guy like showed us it and he was like, here take a look at these. And, they and then he like left. He like clocked out or he like got off the ship. I don't know. <laughs> and so we asked the hostess like, what should we do with uh, this? We were like, do we have to pay for this? Like the guy never came back. And she's like, she kind of just she's laughed like, about it. She laughed about it and she's like, oh that's funny that he just left. He's she's like, did he charge you? We're like, no. And he's like, and then she's like. Okay, um, just take it. <laughs> we're like, so we're we like, got what? some photos for free. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that it's in a chopstick folder. Me too. Even though I don't know how to use chopsticks. And I kind of like the story behind it, that like, we yeah. weren't supposed to get them. But, but she told did. us to take it. She did. <laughs> we're doing what we're told. Exactly. Okay, well, we have a Gus on night one. I think yes. I have faith in our guy. Oh, oh my god, god. it's cool. Wait a it's second. So cool. Wait a second. Oh my god. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait. We've never had this. Look at his eyeballs. We've never had this. <gasps> he has eyes. Look at him. Is he an octopus is... or a squid? Because there's uh, only like four legs. Oh, it's not an octopus, but you would think that at first, but it's not. And we got a paper cruise compass. Oh, oh my god. This guy is awesome brand new <laughs> brand new towel animal I, i've never seen this one ever and this, this one's amazing. cool too it's not like like it could be a brand new one but it could be lame no this yeah. one's cool oh, oh, i love it we are starting this cruise I honestly, off right i know i honestly love that one 
That's like in my top ten, I think. I agree. Yeah. And it, you know what? If this is artistry because look at the way. Oh, the like curl. The curls right here and like here. And it seems like, like he's almost alive. This cruise really is like off to a really good start. I just feel so like settled. And I like know. because Royal is like. It's home to us, and even though we're abroad, it just feels so good. It does. And I just feel like, ah, uh, just so excited. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, here's Italy. We left Ravenna, and we are heading across the Adriatic Sea to Croatia. Our first stop is Split, and we will see you there. I'm actually really excited to see Split in Croatia. I think it's awesome that we're going there. And I just feel so happy and good. Yeah. See you there.